Hey guys, Hello Games back here for another video. This will be our week 12 of our franchise, our Kansas City Chiefs franchise. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure you slap that like button, guys. As you know, last week, um, who do we play? Hmm. What's called? Well, well, one thing was talked about is that if you saw in the beginning of the video, you saw the playoff schedule. We're right now technically in the wild card according to our record currently. But we definitely need to keep winning. We can't be, you know, falling out of the wild card because one or two losses could in, uh, big time impact our whole entire game as a whole. So last week we played San Diego. As you saw, that was a huge win for us and a huge win for our team so that we can continue to hopefully make the playoffs. Being in the wild card spot does help a lot because it makes us know that, you know, we don't have to worry right now. Like, one or two losses were fine, but we cannot lose a lot of games. Like, we have, we, have, we have the opportunity right now, and we need to continue this opportunity, and we can't blow games and, you know, just be like, oh, whatever, you know, it happens, this is football. We can't do that. We got to, every game, we got to fight strong, and um, in this game, you're going to see something goes wrong, and it's going to impact all rest of our season. I'm just going to tell you that. Um, you'll see later in the video, but it will hurt us a lot. And as you can see now, we're just trying to get this running attack going. We started out against the Buffalo Bills destroying them. I mean, you might not be like, you might be like, oh, this is not destroying them. But for what we have been doing lately when it comes to offense and defense, shutting down the team three and out like every drive and at first and scoring a touchdown and then being right back in the red zone for us, that's huge. Like, yeah, that might not be good for like the New England Patriots, but that's gonna it's good for a team like us who cannot usually move the ball as efficiently as someone like New England Patriots. We can't go right down the field on you. We have to nickel and dime you. I know New England Patriots nickel and dime people, but we literally we can't do anything but nickel and dime. But we do get two touchdowns here to start off the game, so we're fourteen nothing. Again, that would, that's in, that's a big impact right away. Starting off, just taking the lead, 14 nothing, And our defense just playing great, but our defense will not continue to play great. Most likely not because, I mean, as you guys know, like sometimes teams start out, they'll be starting out 21 to nothing, Then the defense starts slowly giving it up like this. Check, check that out, see? Your deep, because your defense, it seems like whenever you go by a lot of points, your defense kind of slowly slacks off and goes, well, you know, we were playing great, so we don't have to try as hard. And that's when, you know, it starts going downhill for you. Because then it got it, get, it gets to, you know, oh, we let up one score. Okay, well, that's fine to let up one score. Then your offense does nothing, and then you get stopped. But second and 12 here, we get a big hit, no fumble. So now third down seven after a false start penalty, we're moving back five yards, which is kind of funny because as you if you if you have been watching this uh, season, you know we're usually the ones who get false start penalties and offsides and you know pass interferences. We're usually not the um you know commentary of that. But first and go after that nice pass, and as I said before, your defenses like when you're over, you're up by a lot, and you know you're playing good. Your defense slowly starts to unravel. Slowly unravel. So it kind of sucks, but that's how it is. Um, third and goal now. We need to get a key stop here in order to make it still. I mean, three points ain't bad, but touchdown is huge. And they do get a touchdown here. Now we're going to take over in the second quarter. Or sorry, not my, my bad. We're going to take over next drive. And I'm going to check it down my halfback here. Kind of do what Tyrod Taylor did was what like roll out and then just throw across your body to the halfback we do go no huddle here and I'm looking out to the right here and I will throw back across my body and it is dropped interception and you saw injury timeout right well guys the guy that got injured was Alex Smith yeah it, it, it sucks yeah I know and it's I mean, losing your key quarterback is always a big thing. They're saying, hey, Hall of Games, why are you showing a punt return? I only show a punt and a kick return when something good happens, right? Watch this. Boom! 
a hit stick fumble picked up by the defense and returned for six. Even a little showboat there couldn't catch us. So we took the lead now, 21 to 7. We will take over in the third quarter, but I mean, it's going to hurt if we lost Alex Smith. But we will go sign a quarterback in a couple weeks, I think. And let's see how Chase Daniels looks, uh, walks out. And if he doesn't walk out, we will sign someone, bring someone to the squad. So stay tuned for that. I already have someone in idea who I'm going to bring here. So that will also be a really near future kind type of thing when it comes to this. Like he'll be coming to the squad soon if Chase Daniels doesn't walk out. But I mean, when it comes to backup quarterbacks, you got to give your first uh, backup a chance. As you see, it's two weeks it says on this, but it, as it actually ends up being the rest of the season. I'm saying that because once I left this game, it's week 12 right now. It says six weeks once you leave the game. So that means he's out for two week about 17. Oh, no, it's like five weeks. So it's week 17. He will come back week 17 against the Raiders. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully, we won't be too bad without him that week 17 is like, oh, it doesn't really matter. And I might just set him. I might just sit him. If we're completely out of the playoffs when he comes back in five weeks, I might just sit him, you know, try to keep him ready for next season. Especially if we're out of the playoffs completely. And who knows? The quarterback I pick up or Chase Daniels, he, uh, one of them might end up being a star and might end up, you know, being the next starter. And maybe I'll trade Alex Smith. Who knows? But right here, this is just missed tackling and the fullback gets a touchdown. They're not fullback, wide receiver gets a touchdown. Um, after a quick three now by Chase Daniels. <laughs> which, you know, just all together sucks. Um, Tyler will get the ball back and he will throw an interception right away. Our defense does it again. I mean, this game has to be about defense. Our defense has been playing stud-like all game. And I gotta say, this game, I'm proud of my defense. I think that all together, they played amazingly. And... Yeah, so defensively this game, we played great. Losing our, star our starting quarterback, of course, you know, it always hurts when you lose anybody on your team. And this year we lost Jamal Charles. We lost, as you see now, Alex Smith. I mean, we're riddled by injuries. So if we even somehow got to the Super Bowl, it would be amazing as a team, as an organization, to even be able to get this opportunity with all the injuries and all the, you know, kind of um, obstacles in our way. To get to a point where we can win a game. We can actually win games and possibly win it all. Hopefully we will be able to. I'm not making any promising promises as a coach, at, I mean owner or whatever. So I don't know. I mean, again, if you guys are new to these videos. How it is, is I'm the owner, you guys are the coaches. And this is all team, not just my team, not just your team. It's all team as a whole. So that's how I look at it. First and goal now. Right for two minute warning, they were hiking right for two minute warning, and now there's two minutes to go, and they're down by ten points. So that means if they get a touchdown here, they're gonna have to get you know uh, they're gonna give the ball back to us, and they have three timeouts. But I don't think it's gonna be as like if we can get one first down, a couple first downs will be good. And I mean I know I always say don't give up any points between uh in the first two minutes of the game, like the first um half two minutes, like two minute warning in the first half. At two minute one in the second half, and we gave up a touchdown in the two minutes ago in the second half. I always say not to do that, but you know, I might need to stop saying that because it seems like my defense is like, you know, trying to test it. Like, oh, let's see if we can do it now. So I might try to stop doing that, but I, I think it's a good strategy. Just if we don't give up any two points, we have never lost a game where we lost, we give up two points. I'm mean, sorry, uh, points. In the first two minutes of the first half or two minutes of the second half. I don't think we ever lost a game. Maybe the Broncos game, I don't know. But I think pretty much we're good on everything else. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Like for more videos. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure you check out the playlist of these videos on my channel. Just go to my playlist and you'll see uh, Chiefs franchise and watch them all. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Like for more videos. I'm out. Give it to me, baby. Peace.